guys? Today we're going to be doing some adventuring with the dirt bike. Uh, just packing up now. I've got the Moscow Moto gear. Um, today I'm going to be showing you exactly how I set up my Reckless 40 system on my motocross bike. It's not just for touring bikes, this setup. And I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I do it on a setup like this. So the first thing I'm going to do we're going to put it through my main frame, wrap it around there, and then simply put it up just like so. Then we're going to do the exact same on the other side. Now we have the back part. We don't want to be having this jumping around. So what I'm going to do, what I like to do on mine at least, you can see this little lip right here. So I'm going to actually just tie this around to the other side here and that's just gonna keep it cinched down and it won't be able to slide forward. So you can see what I did for the back here, the lip there, and then I just simply tied a knot there. Um, I'm not gonna be going over big enough jumps where the wheel is going to hit up against there. Um, I'm still working on a better method of, um, you know, tying down the bottom. Got the whole Moscow Moto saddle set up. Um, you can see, I got my wetsuit in one dry bag, I got my food in the other, and then we got some camera gear in the main bag up top. Let's get it all set up onto here. I'm gonna get over this great big um, uh, this great big stump because my bike doesn't even have that much clearance. Uh, we'll give her a go because why not? That's what we do. We don't give up. Ready? Go on. Oh fuck! You know, got the Moscow Moto. Expedition saddlebags, you know, on a 125 motocross two stroke. Um, it's a pretty unique bike, if I say so myself. Let's just try and rock it. No, oh, not that way. Here, let's just push. Um, let's try this. There we go. Just chilling like a villain. As you can hear, my breath is 
really tired after that. And then we're gonna have to go back over. One thing that's difficult on this is I used to have a strap there, but no longer there. And because the bags are covering it. But it's all good. Wow, this place is sick. It's like a little, I don't know. Oh God, I don't know. That looks a little, a little muddy for me. We're just gonna, whoa, fuck. All right, here we go. This place looks Yeah, it's just a quick thing I wanted to mention before I ended the video there was um, I never actually got to show you guys, tell you guys what I thought um, of specific products. The first one and the one I'm most excited for is this um, dry bag. The setup, they all come with dry bags. Two um, of the long ones you saw in the video and then one um, of these and it's a backpack. And so when you have your gear full, in here. There's also straps avail that uh, come from the inside of the dry bag and it actually it's a really cool little backpack you can see. Um, there's not gear in it right now so it might look a little weird but it's actually a really cool little bag and I really enjoy this. This is probably one of my favorite pieces about the Reckless 40. Um, and then also I never actually got to go through the pockets here so we have two big pockets on the side which hold those longer dry bags. And then also beside that, there are these um, other pouches. They have Velcro. And then there's also these clips that you can, you know, with the dry bag you roll and clip it up and that can hold like water bottles or even tools or whatever you're gonna be doing while riding. And then also up the top here, I love this for using, um, putting your phone or your camera, your GoPro in there. It's nice soft material as well. And then on the other side of that, other side, um, we have, this is where the top dry bag, the one that's a backpack Velcro's onto, which is really cool. And then there's also this pouch too, to hold more stuff. And um, all together, I really love this whole setup. It's super tight onto my dirt bike, which is, I was really worried about it because, you know, I don't have a, like a bigger bike that you think these saddles are for. Mine's just a 125 motocross bike, but it actually works really well. Um, if any of you guys are doing any long trips, I definitely recommend the Moscow Moto Reckless 40. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video.